Matsubarasaurus was a large plant-eating onithopod from Eastern Australia. In 1963, its fossils were discovered in a Queensland town called Matabara. Upon its discovery, it became the most well-completed Australian dinosaur fossil at roughly 60% completed completion rate. It's since lost its title to Kunbarasaurus, though. This medium-sized ornithopod grew to about 7 metres long, and estimates weigh in at just under 2 tonnes. Matabarasaurus lived in the early Cretaceous roughly 101 to 105 million years ago. Based on Matabarasaurus' structure, it was likely capable of both quadrupedal and bipedal movement. It had a large head and noticeably elongated and rounded snout that was likely used for vocalisation purposes or to improve its sense of smell. The evolutionary position of Matabarasaurus has been a long topic of debate. It was initially placed with Iguanodontids due to its similarities there. However, the general consensus is that Matabarasaurus is more of an evolutionary bridge between Iguanodontids as opposed to a disti distinct and direct member. While Matabarasaurus may just be another ornithiopod dinosaur, I'll always be fond of it because of that unique snout and standout features and as a symbol for Australian prehistoric life.